Hi, this is Charlotte Rogers from GeekFest Montreal, and I play Brittany in LARP's The Series, and you are listening to the LARP Book Podcast. So let's do this thing. Hello and welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. This is episode 47, 29th of November 2016. Uh, I'm your host, Stuart Edwards, and of course with me as always is Robert Davis. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hello, Stuart, and hello, everyone. I'm well, thank you. Fantastic, of course. There's the Busby down there on the bottom right-hand corner, looking resplendent. Look at that beard. That beard's really coming on really oh, well, there, fella. I'm uh, trying. To, I'm trying to catch up, but you know, it's just not getting as good as yours. What can I yeah, say? Yeah, that's just about. I'm, I'm actually just looking at the Busby right now. Looking at his eyes, I think he's getting ready for role in the new Dune film. <laughs> <laughs> the spice must flow um, and of course well, with us uh, you know <laughs> with us this evening is Mo Holker hello Mo how are you hi Stuart I'm fine thanks thanks for having me on not a problem at all uh, just let everybody know there is a small satellite delay uh, between ourselves and Mo because naturally he is three quarters of the way around the world probably in Birmingham <laughs> so uh mo uh, you you are you are one of the organizers of the smoke which is london's international larp festival now we're um i believe uh fingers crossed we've actually got someone of our crew coming to that yep. just to let you know oh, fantastic um, okay i shall keep an eye out Mm. Yeah, you, you, you can't miss her. <laughs> uh, well, depending on what hairstyle she's got, what have you. But we, you know, we'll try and get in touch with her later on to see whether or not she is actually going. All right. Um, and then we'll try and put you in touch with her as well. Uh, well, if that's okay. Yeah, please. Yeah, cool. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, of the smoke. And I always want to call it the big smoke, but that's just you know my 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 country uh, style way of looking at things. Yeah, well, we're start, we're starting out with it being quite the small smoke, but we hope eventually it'll grow to be bigger <laughs> as years go on. So basically, mm -hmm. it's a weekend of short laps in London. Yep. We're going to be running twenty different laps, each sort of two to four hours long, and typically mm -hmm. ten to twenty players over the course of a weekend. So we've got. Um, We've sold, I think, about 60 tickets, yep. which is pretty much all the people we've got space for. And That's it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's about half you and about half content from other countries in Europe. And the same is true of the, of the participants. We've got about half UK people turning up and half visitors who we've been having an interesting time finding spare beds for around London over the weekend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I can imagine. Um, it, yeah. The, 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 the idea sort of, sort of caught my eye and intrigued me because um, Rob and I have only really sort of gotten into the, the international LARP scene, as it were, because we were invited uh, by, of course, uh, Klaus and what have you to go uh, and have a look at Fairweather Manor LARP uh, over in Poland. Um, so when, when I kind of spotted this, because I, I, you know. I have news feeds set up for anything that mentions LARP anywhere comes comes through to, to, to my feed and, and when I sort of came up, you know, you know, found yours, I was like, oh, okay, this looks really interesting. Um, and I was I was hoping to actually be able to get along to it, but uh, work and, and other things has stopped me this time. Um, so mm -hmm. so, yes. <laughs> so we'll I, get I, you next time. Yes. No oh, yeah. Exactly. We'll get, it, we'll, we'll, get it, we'll get it over there, yeah. We're going to get, yeah. get more of her the next time. So, I, I just out of curiosity, Mo, I mean, I know you, there's going to be a number of laps running, but is there some kind of like plan or schedule that you're expecting uh, how things are going to how things are going to happen? Um, yeah, well, so basically, we've got four time slots, and in each time slot, we're running five laps in parallel. So people who've signed up get to play in four laps: Saturday afternoon and evening, Sunday afternoon and evening. And there's a party on Saturday night, and there's like an intro um, icebreaker event on the Friday night. So a big part of it is we want to get people talking to each other as well as playing. So we, we're kind of forcing 
everyone into each other's company because we've got people coming from quite a wide range of large backgrounds even within and the UK contingent, there'll be a lot of people who've not met each other because they come from different styles of LARP or different parts of the country or whatever. And then the, the international people are adding a load of extra stuff to mix into that. So, you know, cross fertilization and cross pollination, comparing ideas and playing different styles from what you're used to is something that we're really um, keen to, to be a result of, of this event. Yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I can definitely see that. I mean, it's the one thing that uh, the Rob and I have noticed um, since we started doing this, uh, you know, the, the whole podcast and and the website, is the the diversity not not just in in the genres, right? Because the, the 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 genres are are massive uh, anyway. You know, think of a subject. You know, My Little Pony. I bet there's probably a LARP out there for My Little Pony. Um, oh, you- you know there is. You know it. Um, <laughs> How, and, do you uh, know? <laughs> How do I know? I'm part of the fan club. Uh, the <laughs> um, but but not only that, of course. The the style of games as well. It, it, you know, is my mind and my eyes are being open to to such diversity. Uh, just in the mm-hmm. the style of games. I mean, I just thought there was one type of LARP. Well, maybe two. Yeah. Um, and it just turns out that there's actually an infinite number of uh, uh, styles as well. Um, and eventually, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to, to, you know, to to have had a go at every style. Maybe not the one where they actually use medical procedures, but um, <laughs> you, you can make those eyebrows, Tom. You can make those eyebrows, Tom. Just there's there's a there's a Nordic one where where you know actual physical examination. A physical examination takes place. Of well, they say bend over. <clears throat> Pretty yep. much, yep. And you have to agree to it, otherwise you can't be part of the lab. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the video one day, Tom. <laughs> so so yeah, I, I you know the 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 breadth. Then so, uh, what's what's your overall goal other than, of course, the party Saturday night? Hmm. Um, well, that's pretty good, especially let make cool stuff happen and get cool people talking. Like yourself, I had my mind completely blown when I discovered international art because I've been laughing for 20 years. Yeah. And I thought I knew, let me say, what it was. But you know, I yeah. started reading up about a big laugh and then meeting people and traveling. So I've, I've laughed in several different countries now. And it's like a whole, you know, new world has opened up for me. And it's fantastic and exciting. And uh, I want to. You know, other people in the UK who've not yet been able to travel abroad or whatever, but to be able to experience that in the comfort of their own country. And then, you know, hopefully mm-hmm. we can, because we've got such a huge amount of LARPers here and we've got yeah, such a yeah. huge amount of skill and experience at doing the stuff that we do. You know, there's lots of stuff that the other European countries can learn from us as, as well as vice versa. So putting the, the brightest and, and most creative people together in a room and sort of pouring alcohol down their throats is... To my mind, you know, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I mean, there is, there is, there is nothing that could go wrong there. Only good things can happen. Only good things can happen when you pour alcohol down the throats of of larpers. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so right. I know you don't need to publicise this particular event. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm just wondering, will there be any scope? for um, people people viewing some of the things that are going on? You know, are, are you going to be recording any of this or uh, that sort of thing to, to document it in any way? To be honest, we're not planning on actually recording any of the sessions apart from, you know, maybe the intro and the outro. We are yeah. going to be sort of documenting with photographs and so on, but, yeah, yeah setting up the, the technology and the consent and so on because we have to throw it together at quite short notice. It took us ages to find an affordable venue in central London. Mm, yeah, yeah. So but everything's been done in a bit of a rush. Next year it will all be a bit more smooth and a bit more professional and we will record as much stuff as we can and allow people to participate remotely if we can. This year it's kind of proof of concept and you know if everyone makes it to the end of Sunday still more or less on their feet then we'll consider it's worked and then next year we'll have twice as long to get everything in place. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and, and 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 not only that. I mean, you will you will learn from any any mistakes that, that are made th- uh, this time, 
um, you know, mo- the, the movement of people, you know, uh, f- food, yeah. drink, etc. You know, mm. h- how things are handled, and and it'll be, it will just be better. It'll it's as simple as that. It will just Absolutely. be better, you know, yeah. next year, um, and then hopefully, then like I said, uh, you know, I'll be able to pop along to that one and and do a little bit of, perhaps a little bit of documenting for you because you know mm-hmm. we have yeah, the technology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like that. We yeah. like documentary laps. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity, um, you've got you've got quite a lot of laps by sound it, Mo. Uh, obviously, those have all hope, those have all been planned out now. Are you how how did people actually apply to get those in the event, or did you just write them all bespoke for for the smoke? No, we wanted to make sure that they were laps that had been run before that were kind of proven because yeah because this is the first event. We didn't and want any fun having a danger of a in an experience where something just hasn't been finished or didn't work properly. So we put yeah. out a call mostly on Facebook and the various groups just and there was a form for people to submit pitches yeah. for their laughs. So we would like um I think thirty eight submitted and we chose twenty from that. That's so great. we wanted to get a variety of styles and a variety of themes and we wanted to get sort of representation for different countries. Oh, so great. I think we've got a pretty good mix I and mean, hopefully there's something for everyone in there. Mm. Okay, right, excellent. Okay. That, that that sounds really good. Tom, any questions? Um, I'm assuming you know what the laps are going to be. Is there a particular lap that you're specifically looking forward to? You know, something that you've never experienced before that's something different? Or is there anything, you know, like really, you know, you can't wait to try out? <laughs> oh, you're putting me on the spot now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like choosing your favourite child. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Every everybody has a favourite child. Don't you worry yeah. about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm actually going to get to play anything myself. I'm going to be spending the whole time organising it. So, yeah. But, don't know um, that. One which, one which I'm particularly interested in is from a, a Danish designer, Nina Runa Essendrop, who is um, has been doing some fantastic stuff in the last few years with physical sensation and uh, movement of the body. She's a uh, um, theatre trained, as, as quite a few of the people are, who are bringing laughs to us. Mm-hmm. And okay. she's um, developed a new laugh called Strangers, which is about a refugee population arriving in the middle of a, of a host population. And they have different ways of moving and ways of being around each other to what the host group have. And these are sort of all workshopped up in advance. So they kind of design their own physical culture. And the laugh is right. played out using light and sound and smells, and it's about the kind of the ways that these two groups can come to understand each other, and, or, or not, as the case might be, mm. and um, you know recognise what's the core humanity that they've got together. So, I'm, I, if I can get to play that, then I will. But otherwise, I shall listen to what people make of it because it sounds like a really powerful concept. Mm. It does. Oh, that yeah. sounds really good. I, yeah, I, I really, really like the sound of that. Yeah. I'll be. I'll. I. I. I will be looking forward to to actually. You know, um, seeing the the reviews and the write ups that that come out. You know, uh, like I say, we are more than happy to to repopulate those those write ups and those photos and what have you up on the LARP book website. Um, not a problem there at all. Yeah. So just 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 get them across to us and. Yeah, we're happy to share. We'd we'd like to see this. this you know, obviously this is funny book, but we'd love to see number two be. Uh, have even even greater take up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and we, we really we really like what Lark Book is doing as a channel to get people talking to each other and covering us, you know, the wide variety of stuff that you have been covering over this time is mm-hmm. you know I, like I say I've been I've been up here for a long time but you've covered stuff which I didn't know about and ah. you know to share your experiences going to Poland to the big castle and the write ups that you've done of that is really fantastic. I, Oh. Wow, yes, yes, and, and thank you. And and Rob actually got me to wrote uh, to, to, to wrote to write. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. Um, and you know, uh, and you know, anybody that knows me uh, that knows that that writing is not my forte. Um, in fact, <laughs> I hate I hate writing. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, so I'm, and, and Rob was happy with with the results. Uh, I think he was just happy to get something off me. Uh, to be honest with you, more than anything else, <laughs> what have you? Um, but yeah, it, it, it was it, it was mm. interesting. Um, they were actually that was a really a, a real good eye opener. Just a mm. that first international lap, and I feel good with playing with people for well playing in another country with people from multiple countries. I think you're right yeah. when you said it's a good eye opener. It really is a great experience. 
Yeah, it's it's an eye opener on on the the different. I wouldn't say styles of play, mm-hmm. um, but the. I'm gonna put this um, people's mindsets then when when they are playing, um, yeah. and and and, 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 and right. yeah, expectations how how they approach it. Um, do you, you know? And to be honest with you, the the, the level and I'll go, and I will use this word professionalism. Um, oh, very that, nice. Yeah, that uh, the the international lappers, you know, um, and especially Klaus's team and what have you, put into to put into these events, um, is a real real eye opener. And the the British contingents, the ones that that I've been to, the ones that I've seen could certainly take a leaf uh, mm-hmm. out of their book on how to actually do it right. So I think what you're doing is bringing these people over, yeah, and having a good mix of of the mm-hmm. British the and the international, yeah, is is yeah, top notch as far as I'm concerned yeah. because yeah. if if we can bring together the best of the ideas, then my god, we're going to have some fantastic mm-hmm. laps yeah. in the future. I think yeah, you you should take the best of this country and the best international and smash them together, make them meet, talk, interact, play games, write games. Ah, oh. yeah, I think oh, a wow. great idea, Mo. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it, it'll it'll be a mind bending weekend, four days week, or even perhaps a fortnight away. Fortnight, can you imagine a fortnight LARP? Wow, wow, <laughs> I'd love that. Mm-hmm. Then again, mm-hmm. a fortnight away, just away. I'd love that too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let you miss it. <laughs> she'll never know. She, yeah. yeah, she'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, with the, uh, with, the, with the ability of the internet now, because you guys are veterans of LARP and you've done it for years, haven't you? I mean, I think, Mo, you said 20 years, something like that. Yeah, um, new guys. I had to think it's it's more like thirty. That's quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, you guys have been doing it for ages, so I would yeah. imagine that when you first started LARPing, that the idea of LARPing with someone from an, another country was just like we didn't even enter. You know, not really, apart from the big gatherings that you know, like the gatherings yeah. and stuff where they would come yeah, yeah. over. But for smaller ones or more, you that that the idea of just doing that is just out of the way. So. Each LARP, each country has an identity of what they call as LARPing. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. thanks to the internet, um, I feel, and you know what you guys are doing, I feel that international LARPing and British LARPing and all LARPings, like you guys said, are going to come together more and more often because it's easier to, you know, communicate it, and organize. It's, easier, stuff it's like that. easier to collaborate. It's simple yeah, as that. Yeah, 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 and yeah it, it is. It's like you said, hopefully it's going to meld this lovely goo of larping together so it's like this super duper larp so all the best of both and uh, well well look you know. well look i i'm i'm still hoping and and rob hasn't managed to, to actually pull this off yet he's been a bit quiet on this for a while but that global larp mm. um, yeah you know that, oh, yeah. that, that i'll have to pause in the global app i've been so caught up with lap book and the day job i haven't been much progress so uh and the team have been all been caught up in their own projects as well. So we're gonna have to yeah, get yeah. a do a little refresh on that, I think, and kick it off. But that, that plan there was playing in different countries in different time zones is still I think really valid. It's just been logistically yeah. hard to get progress going. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so if so, you know anybody Mo who's interested in such a thing, I'd be happy to chat to them at some point. Yeah, so so there you go. Yeah, yeah. When 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 you got the, the the smoke going, proffer the idea of doing a global LARP. Now it doesn't have to happen all on the one day. Yeah, it can happen. It can be a series of events over a number of weekends. Yeah, but there's a certain part that happens in every part of the, yeah. of the globe. That's a bigger a bigger story arc. I like the sound of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll get back to that at some point. You know, when one of us wins the lottery or something yeah, like that. So, uh, uh, so yeah, that's just time pending. So hopefully we will get the next couple of jobs we have got to done. Uh, get back and refresh that and push idea out and see what what can be done there. Yeah, exactly. Cool, excellent. Um, is there anything you want to ask us, Mo, or is there anybody other questions for Mo? Actually, what question? Mo? I mean, I know we've got twenty laughs. You said there's lots of styles. Any sort of, I mean, 
I'm not going to push you on styles because that can be really hard to describe. I think people should experience those anyway. But just what kind of genres can people expect to experience? Um, oh, okay. So we've got some, you know, classic chamber lamp genre. Like there's one that's set on the um, uh, a film set of a, a film, uh, like a Hammer horror style film is being made, and the, the actors and crew are the characters, and you know, dreadful horror is going to come out of the woodwork at some point. Excellent. Um, there's another one that's like a futuristic post-Holocaust LARP where people are trying to reconstruct what the, um, the civilization was that's been destroyed from the things that it's left behind. Yeah. Um, I think there's one that's set during the um, suffragette period. It's called Winston Green Prison, and it's about a group of um, suffragette campaigners who were, yeah. were imprisoned. And um, although it's set in the UK, that's written by a Swedish designer. Very <laughs> yeah, that's about right. The other, yeah. Um, and yeah, there's there's a, there's a kind of a mix of SF. There's some there's we haven't got any out and out fantasy because it's all taking place in the indoors in a, a modern office building. We sort of no no one did a, a kind of an orcs and elves type thing. But it would be nice to have something <laughs> like that if we can get a, like, yeah. an, an outdoor limb. Mind you, my, mind you, I think that would be hysterical orcs in an office. You know, yeah, orcs trying and to elves. <laughs> trying oh. trying to use. Trying oh, to use the photocopier, crap. you know, trying to try, try, trying to get the toner, the toner <laughs> out of the photocopier, etc. That would be brilliant. <laughs> I'd I'd buy that for a dollar. Actually, I just want to see your coffee run. The orc coffee run. <laughs> you wanted black? No, you wanted black. black. I wanted black. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> oh cool man that it, honestly the, the the best of luck to you i really hope that this mm. all works out you know fantastically yeah, thank you well thank you for uh, having me on there but i would pleasure our pleasure now uh do, it, like let's like say if you want to hang around you know to to talk about the international uh, larp scene you're more than welcome uh if you have to disappear however you know thank you very much for coming along your choice I will disappear because I've got dinner downstairs waiting. Oh, <laughs> nice. Even more, even more really less, you know. you yeah. Um, so if so, you uh, if you want, yeah. Now. Yeah. So if you want to go <laughs> and find, thank you. Yeah. If you want to go and find Mo on on the interwebs, uh, he is over at facebook.com uh, Mo dot Holker or at his blog uh, blog dot ukg.co.uk we will put all of this yeah. up in the show notes so you can go and find it and of course hopefully he'll be putting some stuff up on larpbook.com as well so thanks a lot Mo and it I was will. great great talking to you thank you very much Mo brilliant thank you, thank you. Thank you. No see you again bye 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 and everybody everybody moves around and then everyone <laughs> Right then, so uh, right, um, so let, let's have a little little chat then about the 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 international LARP scene uh, okay. more generally. Then you know about about UK people going to other countries to LARP and vice versa. Now, um, I think we I think we are going to see more and more of this happening. Mm, yeah. I'll be perfectly yeah. honest with you. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what sort of form it's going to take or what sort of format in that respect, but. There, there is, or there does seem to be a growing um, movement. I don't know. Yeah. That movement seems fine because there seems to be a lot of people who are prepared to, who want to experience different types of LARP and ideas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and they're going international. Yeah. Well, I think it's so easy to talk to people in different countries nowadays. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can, and I mean, Getting to Europe isn't too expensive anymore. You oh, know? So it was in, in, in fact, getting to Europe for us, for us was cheaper than from me to get to bloody London. Well, yeah. there you go. See? Yeah. So, well, here, here you go, Tom. Yeah. Um, try this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we went to Poland, mm -hmm. I would, um, sometimes I have to travel to London. OK, so traveling at a god awful time of the morning to get the cheapest ticket. Naturally, yeah. coming back yeah. at an awful time of night to make try get a cheap ticket <laughs> right. was only about six pounds cheaper than flying to what's arrived in Poland. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely nuts. And if I'd gone for decent time of day, it would have been maybe two or three times the price of flying to Poland. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, it, it's so easy and so cheap. The only, the only stumbling block, yeah. particularly with LARPs, is gear. Getting well, yeah. gear. I, well, I'll put it this way. I do know that for the uh, big post-pocket book lap that mm -hmm. would often pull in the, the summer, mm -hmm. I think we, we saw some good pictures from that, and I'm just yeah, trying to did. grab its name from the back of my head. Oh, we I can't remember. did show a few of them. Um, Doesn't matter. I do, I do know that one a well-known British lapper who does some really outstanding gear, mm -hmm. I Mark, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, had his suitcase absolutely measured at the limit. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he's like, I, I think he got his suitcase. Like, I mean, this is only a rough from memory, so if I got it wrong, I apologise. But I think he was up to 19.9 out of 20 kilos. <laughs> Ooh, that is close. That is, yeah, he must I, have been sweating going through security then, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, plus, his, plus his cabin baggage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I but, mean, don't, I, but don't forget, look, if, you, if you're flying with Ryanair, Rob, don't forget that second package, even though it's of a certain dimension, can be of any weight. So the plutonium bars that you can get in there, uh, etc., not a problem, you know? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of yeah. incredibly dense metal yeah you just chuck it in there as long as it fits you know it's fine it doesn't affect even, the plane at all but even the idea of gear you know because that yeah. could be a stumbling block i suppose but it's large really, communities yeah. are so but they're, they're, they're so again, close and so yeah. friendly that i wouldn't again, be surprised if people were to lend you gear to, just to get over well, there well actually what they did in, in when we went to poland and what i've noticed on a few of the international lamps a thing like gear loans and gear rentals. Mm. Yeah, 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 mm. definitely. Which I think is, you know, superb. Why not? If you're running a big, high budget lap, and you want to, um, for example, when they did the Battlestar Galactica lap, which is over in Sweden, mm -hmm. I, when I was looking at that, I, was, I also chatted briefly to one of the players when we were over in Poland. Yeah, yeah. Who loved it, by the way, had a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot, a lot of the characters, because of the Battlestar Galactica, had to wear uniforms. Yeah, yeah. So the organizer said, no problem. We're bundling the cost of your uniform into the price of your ticket. Yeah. And when you, when you arrive, you get it. See, that's good. That's an amazing, you know, yeah, well, idea. That's yeah, great. I mean, I, I mean, well, well, look, I mean, we, we, we had our costumes made for us, uh, yeah. you know, for, for Fairweather Manor, right? Now, I Brilliant. know, well, well, number one, I know done well that I probably wouldn't have been able to get suit tails and what have you um, over here in time. Uh, yeah. Even though we had a year, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> before you need it, crap. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And it would have been. It'd be shit. What do I need? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, I wonder if they sell them in the duty free. Oh. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> you just give me a great idea. Now, duty free, perfume, yeah. <laughs> booze, a tech sword, full tails, um, <laughs> full tails, yeah. e evening gowns. You know the 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 the, 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 the gear. The only thing that we had to supply with basically was shoes, socks, and pants. Uh, to be honest with you, um, oh, what kind of lap doesn't supply you shoes, socks, and pants? pants I know. It's, <laughs> Klaus, come on, give me, get on your game, brother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, but I will say that when we got there, like you said, it was tailored. So we got there, we met with the tailoring guy. He said, "Right, try that. No, that's no good. Try that. Yeah, that's better. Try that. Okay. Now that's oh, that's almost good, but not quite the right. So we're just going to adjust the size on that. Come oh, back yeah. in two hours' time." Good yeah, God. and 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 it was. I, I mean, right? You know, I'm I'm a short, fat Welsh troll. Yeah, as simple as that. Okay, <laughs> you know, I'll 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 wear that badge with with, with pride. Yeah. yeah. Um, now they 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 could find they, they could find trousers that would go around my girth, uh, but of course, naturally, the height is always an issue. And they found trousers that were getting close. You know, uh, they fitted the girth, however, the, the length, obviously, no, nah, that's not going to happen. And it and then they were altered within two hours. Um, oh. Everything everything was done, we went back, and they were altered beautifully. In fact, no, man, like... I almost stole them. Uh, they were altered that, <laughs> that, that, that beautifully. Um, and just left my trousers behind. Because you're getting me, you don't think of me. Leave your jeans. <laughs> yes, right, yeah. yeah. That's what I was given, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally the jeans. <laughs> Yeah. I thought but, I thought footmen always wore jeans. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. and so so that 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 sort of thing I think would be incredibly useful. Yeah. Um, and I, 
Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think I said, I think if we can, if people can just go with like hand luggage and not have to, have, or maybe a big suitcase full of like props and accessories that be unique to them, that's a great thing. I mean, there's no problem with having kind of costume. I mean, people did it in Poland. I know they've done it to uh, you know, the game, both the game we went to and the post pocket game this summer, and I know it's happening in other labs all the time. So if you yeah. can do it, you just, just got to pack carefully. Yeah. yeah, and and you know if if anybody's w- uh, worried about taking things like uh, latex weapons and, and what have you, um, I actually saw a few people that were going through obviously due to something different in Poland, and they actually had latex swords, mm-hmm. uh, etc. They had them out on display. They didn't have them hidden. Mm. <laughs> I, I will I will say that either. out on display, so any security guard could uh, you know check these things out, um, oh, yeah, and, and and not good shoot good you. Airports have seen way wo- wo- more weirder stuff than latex weapons. Way, yeah, yeah. yeah. More yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about feeling embarrassed if you've got you've got that or something like that, or they think they're no. going to tackle you the second they see you. No, 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 no. No, no that's, that's, I, that's, I, that's I, not I, the case. Actually, you're dead right, Tom, because when we were over there, you know, there were people with swords. I mean, we, but we did also find somebody had left a suitcase lying around. God, which was yeah. highly entertaining to watch. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, it was it was a, a randomly left really good suitcase as well. Actually, I mean, right, yeah, yeah that was uh, worth claiming. You know, it was worth claiming, but but somebody had left it abandoned at at the at the airport. So that that area was then cordoned off with um, armed armed guards. Then everywhere, making sure they you know they shut down the shops, etc. And we were mm-hmm. stood fairly close by. And then one of us mentioned, um, "Do you think we should move? Because if that is something bad." We're kind of we're kind of in the blast radius, <laughs> and and we kind of I love went. The fact that's just you only just twigged. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're there for ages. Oh, <laughs> it was a it was a good ten <laughs> ten to twelve <laughs> minutes, <laughs> mate. <laughs> the people they go tick tick on oh, the safety of his gun tick tick just in case tick 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 tick. Yeah. It's like oh no, you think we should possibly move from here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, in, in, in fact, it is a little bit disconcerting with with one of the uh, officers that were there that was just flicking flicking his rifle into semi-automatic to automatic to semi-automatic to automatic to semi-automatic. Was he looking at you while doing it? Going, he was just generally just randomly doing it. Just and I think yeah. like Jesus Christ, man, if his finger twitches, that's the <laughs> end of the show. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty boring standing around with a gun all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, 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 actually, if you think that it would be lap carnage, there we go. Lap, lap for so many countries gone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, um, but yeah, we were, we were, you know, we would have been basically in the blast radius of, our, you know, if it had been anything. It obviously wasn't because you know the airport was there when we got back. Uh, without any little craters in the floor or anything yeah. so uh, i imagine that's a fairly common occurrence in airports you know where yeah, things yeah. get left behind well, yeah yeah but i mean i mean i mean this this was a decent this wasn't like a hand know, luggage right? <laughs> right this was this was a proper size suitcase mate you know i yeah. you know if if we'd folded you right we could have probably got you in there yeah <laughs> you should have gone to the place can, can we have that after you yeah can, can we, can, that's a decent <laughs> bit of can we claim there. that can we claim that? Yeah, that that's definitely mine. Yeah, yeah really mine. Okay, yeah. okay, it's definitely mine if there's nothing in it that goes boom. Yeah, yeah. If it's safe, <laughs> no drugs or anything tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely mine. What do you mean? You've got twenty kilos of cocaine in it? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is it's definitely mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. So so anyway, back on the subject of international love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I think I think this is this is going to be this is going to be an interesting time. I will be honest. Yeah. I can see much more much more sort of travel happening for LARPs. I I know, and we do keep mentioning it, mentioning it. You know, Klaus and his team are pushing for this sort of thing to happen, um, and I I completely agree. I think it's it's a it's a fantastic LARP as a holiday. Yeah. It's it's the mm. way forward. Yeah. And I think we're going to see, one of the things I'm thinking we're going to see more of, tried to send last night, uh, because the children's lap project, and come on to that in a bit. But it, we, I think we're going to see like a leveling, a series of like layers building, where you have sort of week single day games and club weekend games, and then the bigger higher budget weekend games, and then the games that are aimed to sort of really big international markets, which are higher budget, possibly higher budget again, and the fest laps. So, you know, you can see levels of budget and travel coming in. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, oh, yeah, varying yeah, yeah. levels of kit standards and varying levels of how people interact in them. I don't think anything's right or wrong there. I think it's great because we're going to have all these options we haven't had before. Well, yeah, and it gives people a chance to try different types of light because, as you guys said, LARP changes between depending on the country you're in. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of the guys in, De- in, in Denmark were chatting to going, what, this, what, fantasy is still popping in the UK? And you still yes. play a lot of fantasy? Go, yeah, loads. But we also do this and this and this and this. But, yeah, it's still popular. Yeah, that's it. That's it, where I feel that UK, I feel, is very fantasy. Well, from what I can think, there are other things, but it's still oh, yeah. primarily fantasy. Europe seems to have kind of gone branching out into different. And when I say Europe, I'm generalizing an awful lot yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah, do yeah, branch yeah. out yeah. into more. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't tell the Germans that they don't do fantasy. They won't like you for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Germans solely do that. Um, and... <laughs> It's good, and it also enables you to like experience um, what the other countries are like, and then adapt things. Yeah. Like, I mean, in America, I've I've never been to a LARP in America. No, bad luck. Uh, but I have read about it, and they're basically very much about the battles and um, the objective, the, the overlying story. There is one, but that's not the main focus. The main focus yeah. is like yeah, boffer LARP, yeah, boff, yeah, boffer LARPing, which is essentially the fighting. Now, if they were to experience more like um, British or European LARPing, that might they may take that back to the US and then adapt that to that. So obviously, you know, it kind of like spreads well, it across the thing. Well, it's it, interesting you say that. I mean, we we do have a little bit of a generalization in our minds about the boffer LARP and what have you with America. Yeah, uh, we I mean we we do right because mm. it's 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 what we've seen. But there was there was a lovely young lady um, at Fairweather Manor. Uh, who was Canadian um, mm. and uh, who was putting on the best Irish accent for Ever. the entire game. And I Ever. mean the entire game. I had to go up to it in the end because because someone said she was Canadian. I was like, no, no, she's Irish. <laughs> no, she's Irish. Right. Um, and I did have to, you know, could we have a little chat with her uh, at the end? To get her to break the the Irish accent uh, to to do her Canadian um, and have a little chat with her, uh, and this is the sort of thing. These are the LARPs she likes. She yeah, likes yeah. those the, those highly intensive, um, but but mischievous uh, type mm-hmm. LARPs. Yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, and so so it, it's obviously fairly evident that they are available in the USA and mm-hmm. Canada and what have mm-hmm. you. Uh, but she also likes sort of sort of uh, skipping across the water, as it were, uh, to come and do these sorts of things. Uh, and she was an absolute head case, and she was an absolute sweetheart as well. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Um, Absolutely br- brilliant, I, I, brilliant girl. And for that kind of character, she's probably done one of the best jobs I've ever seen. You know, I've seen people play that kind of mischievous, troublemaking, cannot do anything but be in trouble character before. <laughs> Mm. It's, it's, it's one of the best. Penis, it's a hard character to play with. That, that is that, that was one of the yeah. best best I've ever seen. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, she was constantly, constantly in trouble, just for, and 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 beautifully as well for the littlest of things. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. is is she 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 liked to wear pink ribbons when she wasn't allowed to wear pink <laughs> ribbons and things like that. So she she'd always have a pink ribbon on her somewhere. Yeah, 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 the yeah. head butler would always be looking at her, you know, going like, "With you know, you've got you, you've got a pink ribbon on you," and she she'd look at him and she would go, "Oh," and she squirrel away the pink ribbon, you know, and go, "Sorry, sir, sorry, sir, sorry, sir, didn't mean to, sir," you know. But yeah. she she constant, just little really? things constantly, right? I think that's really inventive and weird to put them. <laughs> oh, she was she was right. genius. She was genius. But there was a lot of this going on, and mm. yeah, this was a big, this was a game for people who like really deep getting into and developing a character mm. and building a character. Now, I really enjoyed myself, but I also found it weird. But that's mostly because the last few years I've been focusing on refing and and crewing games, mm. Mm. so I haven't had to actually play a straight up character for two days for ages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yes, challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah great. definitely. I, I, I mean, I mean I, go on, Tom. I was going to say for something like that. I've never done a lap that's quite so um, like that. Basically, yeah. that's quite so serious and for quite so long. My lap, the laps that I go to are very casual, very laid back. You know, yeah. you can jump in and out of character whenever you really want to. 
That's so, fine. You know, I, I think that's just different play styles. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I, I, I've never done, I mean, one day I'm sure I'd like to try a uh, very yeah. serious, like, you know, where it's constant. Um, but uh, that's still uh, quite new to me. That's still well, quite we'll try and get the series onto a game somewhere. Mm. And also, we'll try and get a few of this onto another lap. Again, like we, like we did with, with um, Forest Argent early on in the year, we'll try to get a few of this to like another, uh, another lap as a group and play, both play and, and document. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I agree. I, I, I think it's time, I think it's time that, that, that the entire LARP book crew manages to get onto a LARP. Um, so, uh, Emmy Lou as well, don't forget, you know. You yeah. are part of you're, this team. You're, you're in there, me, Lucas. You like it or not, <laughs> right? Um, and, and we should we, we should get us all all to to a lap. I mean, I'm I'm happy to document and do and, and film everything, right? I'm happy yeah. to do that. I don't I don't need to play anymore, right? I played for thirty years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't, don't, don't say the number. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't need I I don't need to. So I'm happy to document. Uh, you know everything, and perhaps follow. And in fact, I think I think we should do that. Yes, I think idea. Ding light bulb. Um, we should we should because because Tom is is relatively new to the LARP scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and young, <laughs> and devilishly handsome. Um, that we should that that we should follow him. You know, through the process of getting ready for the LARP and going to the LARP, enjoying the LARP. Ending the lap. What do you reckon, Tom? Sound like a plan? I mean, you can do that if you want. Yeah, no problem. No problem if you want to do that. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Actually, I got a good idea then. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do that in April? What for TR? Yeah. Well, there's TR in April, but isn't there also, but there's also as we turn the fear of the dark? Oh, there is the turn of the fear of the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fear of the dark. Yeah, the yeah. return. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm paid up to play in that. I think I, I'm I, not. Well, I, I, I pay. Okay, I paid my deposit. Yeah, I think I, I know. I paid my deposit. I know that for certain. I paid my deposit. Yeah, I'm, um, actually, I, I it's my, my deposit it was a takeover from the last lap because the last lap didn't come off. So they said, oh, "Okay, I'll just carry it over." I know you guys will do something. Mm -hmm. with something mm -hmm. yeah. They've gone, "Yeah, well, we've got your money. You're in. Come on." <laughs> we have your money. You're all good. Um, okay. Uh, well, I'm. I'm seeing John this weekend. Anyway. Uh, okay, so, so, uh, so I'll, 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 I'll have a chat with him, see, see uh, if he's amenable to the idea uh, and what have you, whether or not if he, you know, he might feel that he might break the atmosphere a little bit. Well, yeah. uh, really, immersion atmosphere is big on fear. We, although you say we, we've done a lot, a lot of sort of um, casual apps, casual, so yeah, the yeah. fear of darks never were was sort of, break, you could step in, into areas and just go out of character in quiet spots. Yeah, 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 the main action was always pretty intense, especially when things yeah. start going down. <laughs> when things start going down, <laughs> psychologically crippling things were going down. Yeah. Oh yeah, this strange just happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll have a chat with him. See, see what he says. See what he says. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'll might, be happy to do that. More than happy. Know, you know, mm. he might he might say bugger off, Edwards. Get yeah. the but, in, you know. but happy. <laughs> also, we'll do the next TR event as well, and um, yeah. yeah. And we'll do a whole follow through, the whole build up, follow through on character and stuff. I'm probably vetting or crewing the next TR event. All right, cool. Um, and I know it's Tom will play, so that's a good oh, combination. I'll be, yeah, I'll be playing next TR. Funny enough, though, um, my aluminium chainmail shirt's finally knackered now. It's finally. Oh, no. It lasted, it I've lasted got, three dude, events, dude, I think. I've, I've got a chainmail shirt, mate. Do you? Yeah. I've been I've been trying to offload it for freaking ages, man. Oh, yeah, you've been trying to you've been trying to get rid of it for like. I'll have it. Like I it. It's proper, you know. It's it's proper full chain, mate. You know, it's oh, yeah, it's I know. it's I know. it's it's put on and don't try to run anywhere. You know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that was that's, that's what I loved about the aluminium because yeah, it yeah. looked like proper chain, but you were like. Dun, 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 well, I have dun, I, I have got one that is essentially a butcher's shirt. Which is uh, which is aluminium, which I, I I've used that you can run about in, but I've also got a full uh, body. You'll have to, I'll uh, have to see both of yeah, them. Mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd love to. I mean, because I need it. I mean, the one I it's gone now. It's, yeah. it's I shed it. It was just. But you know, for twenty five quid, you can't go wrong. It went well, three 
LARP events, I think, three, four LARP events. Yeah, like that. E- exactly, uh, exactly. That's cool. No worries. Oh, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's not a problem. Like, so literally, I've been trying to offload it for a little while. But, um, um, yeah, but for the next event, I think you're going to see me knackered. If I'm wearing a full chainmail thing, for most of the event, I'm going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, how'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's worn chainmail knows it. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. The only one oh, that I've ever seen that, that I've, I've ever seen run about in chainmail properly and not be too knackered is, of course, Alistair. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, uh, and Big Pete. Oh yeah, and and and, and feasibly Big Pete. And, and by the way, this is a this is a um, a, a call out to infeasibly large Pete, uh, who is a, a very good friend of mine, who I've not seen since my wedding. For Christ's sakes, Aww. right? Um, if you if you're out there, uh, Pete, and you know you listen to this show, if anybody knows him, uh, I think his last name was Wood, wasn't it, Rob? Because mm, yeah. we just ever just do just just Pete. <laughs> but actually, no, 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 no. It was more like Pete. Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if anybody knows him, uh, give him my details. You know, the email address: lapbookshow at gmail dot com. Tell him to get in touch. So I love to see that man again. He was yeah. he's an absolute awesome dude. Um, right. So, uh, what else are we are we talking about, the uh, gents? Um, oh yeah, oh, we, we got to mention got to yeah. mention the, um, the the children's lab thing. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. So a couple of months ago, we got asked, you know, could we find out what about children's lab? So I started posting a load of Facebook groups. Yes. And we got back a load of responses for this country, some for the states. Yeah. Some for Europe. So I yeah. created them. And this week I put out the UK list listing we had. Yeah, yeah. And I and I popped that out for a number of Facebook groups again and asked you if you've got if there's more you we can add, uh but let us know. Yeah, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> I had loads of conversations and things. I got a load more emails for if I hadn't written back to you yet, don't worry, I've just been <laughs> yeah. swamped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is gonna get a lot this is this is just gonna grow. Excellent. And I know I've also had invitations to LARPs and met more met more people. And there's a good one in Kent next next year, which is uh, the LARP set in a, a mead hall. I think it sounded a, a LARP set in a mead hall. <laughs> Count us <Wow>. in. <laughs> that, I mean, that's like that's like a match made in heaven, that is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and the Crimson Moon are going to be there. Yeah, well, of course they are. It's a mead hall. Hello. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Can I get over to Kent? <laughs> dude, oh, dude, I'll trip. find a way to get you over to Kent, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know you could fly to London for 30 quid now. Mm. So, anyway, <laughs> well, yeah. so anyway, that's the, so basically, the, basically, I mean, the, the list is going to extend for the UK, and i got a feeling this, the international list and the um, US list are going, to, are going to just grow again. So I'm going to, later on this week, I'll re-update the UK one, and then we'll start getting the other, the other lists out. But mm. it's, it's it, we are getting a lot of support on this. So I just want to thank everybody who's been writing in and talking to me. And it's, yeah. it's really nice to get a list of saying, this is what these apps do for people who have children. <laughs> yes. No, I, I, I mean, and and that was an excellent uh, project. And, and the continuation mm. of that as well is going to be helpful to, to so many families, you know, that, uh, that want to LARP and make sure that the kids have a fantastically good time as well. Well, yeah. yeah, it's like a holiday for both, then, isn't it? You know, right, yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. It's, it's exactly. And uh, it's a nice way to get children into LARPing young, so they grow up yeah. with it and they know about it. Exactly, you know, start them young, always, you know, and mm. uh, then you you hook them for life. Uh, and Great. and to and, and to be honest with you, they they honestly make much much better adults. <laughs> yeah, they really do. Because they're, they're, yeah, they're and the roles op- go opposite, isn't it? The adults want to be kids, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just yeah. go around and be gits and silly and stuff. Where the kids are like, no, well, no, lucky, you can't do that. No, 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 that's bad. No, no, you can't do that. That's naughty. Gotta well, be look, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, look, you, you, you only have to ask Katie the amount of times where she's had to say, apparently, he's the adult. <laughs> 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 And she's uh, right. Apparently, I am. You know, by law, in I am. Theory, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> but, Counting you know, years on the planet, yeah. <laughs> Experience counts for everything. Um, 
But I mean, she is absolutely right. She's she's way more adult than I've, I'll, I'll ever be. But there we go. Um, <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. So we also have right. So that that is that is that is great news, and we'll be getting those lists out. Obviously, you're up on lapbook.com and what have you, Rob? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The first the first one's up there now. Just go to lapbook.com. Yep. It's our current it's our current headline post. But uh, yep. if you just go to that, or you just search for children in lap, you'll find stuff really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's like I say, as as I always said, being being the font of all knowledge for LARP news is difficult when you're trying to find LARP news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just keep finding bloody things that we've put up. Uh, right then, so on to events then. We've got... Um, I love the fact that there's now a part three of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to put it up there. <laughs> Gulag, part three, the others. Tell us a little bit about Gulag Part Three: The Others. <laughs> okay, so it's it's very uh, it's like, it's Gulag like, was like, You know, you got Gulag, Gulag the Return, Gulag. gulag. Yes, they're back again. You know. <laughs> oh God, he's in a Gulag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Carry okay. on. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, this we must, we must send it. This actually is film sim again to or iLap. So uh, must send Amy Lou over there because this is lo- one of her local laps. All right. Okay. But um, okay, the setting is is um, what was once what is ten years in the future. What was once Georgia? Yeah. Um, Relation has fallen. As it does. And uh, now we've got people stuck in gulags trying to make themselves safe. Okay. Okay, now there is actually a long, and I want to say long, and we want to see for about there. It's, it's, it's like a really long write up on the, on the background of how it, and how it's come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, are, they, they are continuing lap to lap to lap. They always do great. that. They always do that, actually. Their write ups, their write ups, hell, they could do a novel with their write ups, I'll be honest. Yeah. I yeah. think they should. Right? Yeah. If, if, if you hadn't thought about that, guys, you should. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't, when I, when I see you next at um, LabCon, I'm going to have to have a strong word. <laughs> yeah, defo. Because uh, um, it is it's not long to LabCon, which is good. Um, so, that, so, so that's good. But also, I've also I'm also going to put the post to the Gulag group. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because what's going on here is absolutely fantastic. People are chatting about the game and showing some of the site pictures of things that have been built for the game and also how they're developing their costumes and the work on costume development is brilliant okay so mm-hmm. you can really learn a lot about sort of how to develop a costume and how to sort uh, and sort of how to camp in the rough yeah, and they're really having a lot of inspirational work it seems like very rough shirts and, uh, and face masks are, are the big fashion for this okay cool so yeah, I just want to give a shout out to that group because it's really, really good. Uh, like Excellent. I said, people are willing to show the development of the character and the development yeah, yeah. of what they what they're building to take to it. Okay. And I, I just love that. So it's not you, you turn up and go, oh, what are you going to look like? It's you turn up and go, oh, I know what this because I wrote, wrote these posts on, on the group. And then over this one, I mean, everybody's got an idea of how to look and behave before you even get there. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. You know, it builds a more convincing world. Because I think if I have one complaint about Fantasy Lab, it's that everybody kind of assumes that they know how things are going to look before they get there. Yeah. And it, yeah. And, then, and sometimes that, and in the right game setting, that works. But if it doesn't, but if it doesn't come together, then it, mm, not quite right. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 It gets a bit generic rather than a bit focused. Sure, what are you doing? Nothing. Sure. I'm not. I'm not on the Facebook group at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, and 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 just let anybody know if anybody is actually actually watching this. I I know we we've had a few people watching. Um, you can comment and leave us, you know, things in the group. Because uh, yeah, the buzz put answer. the buzz put put, put, put test, and I yeah. put test back at you. Yes, Why haven't that updated for me? What the mm. hell? It's got to be playing. So it's got to it be playing. Play is it? Yeah, mine's playing. Oh, great. I just oh. had it on mute. Oh, there you go. Now it started. Oh. Yeah. There you go. I think I might just need to refresh it. 
Okay. Ro- yeah, so. it's, it it doesn't work particularly well. I'll be honest with you. The the, the they they haven't quite quite got there yet. But, Not yet. Uh, yeah. Well. Um, right then, sir. That's that. We done Gulag, part three. <laughs> I just love the fact it started a year ago with you're sleeping rough for two nights yeah. in December. Oh. And yeah. it, the, the players didn't just survive that. They said, we want more. Yeah. Oh been developing the world and the backgrounds and the whole, mythol- the whole lore over the last year. It's lovely. Yeah. I think they're nuts. Yeah. But, <laughs> but then again, you know... Yeah. I used to do that sort of thing anyway. I was about to say, who do we know that's got bivvy bags and is used to sleeping rough? <laughs> you. <laughs> I have you... no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and his son is used to sleeping in in, in holes. Yeah. <laughs> Make me sound like a homeless guy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Nah, homeless guy would have a, be- a better class of cardboard box. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. That's why I got a really nice shed. (laughs) (laughs) So is that everything, folks? I think that's the works. Unless anybody's got anything else. I don't know. Tommy, did you you got anything else to add? No, I don't believe so. No, I do not believe so. I am all good. Okay, then. Right then, fine. We'll uh, we'll get out of here then. Uh, And do this sort of thing. Right then. Okie dokie, a big, 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 big thank you to Mo Holker. Uh, absolutely awesome dude, fair play. Uh, go and have a look at his stuff. Look for The Smoke. Uh, and we'll have all those links as well up into the show notes. Um, right, big thank you to our lovely patrons who make it a bit easier to keep this show going. In fact, they've bought us a digital camera. They don't know it yet, but they've bought us a digital camera, so hopefully we can get some better video and we'll have you up soon. Yay. Although my iPhone has been doing a grand job uh, so far. Now, <laughs> how are you going to have Zoom? Zoom and this Zoom too. Uh, right, um, so if you'd like to get in contact with the show, just email lapbookshow at gmail.com if there's a... a a topic you would like us to discuss or something you saw or fancy writing an article just email it across to us and we'll and we'll have a look and get it up onto the website now then music was provided by ben sound of bensound.com go across to our patreon help us out guys uh, patreon.com forward slash book for less less than a coffee you could really help out this show um we do have a shop over at redbubble just search for laughbook there's lots of wonderful cool swag on there you can listen to the podcast itunes stitcher youtube podbean just search for laugh book or whatever you actually use to get your la- uh, your laughs to get your podcasts just search for laugh book and we will be there uh music's gonna run out in a minute that's fine i'll carry on uh email hmm. the show again laughbookshow at gmail.com and don't forget to you know go across to the website laughbook.com for news reviews and everything else and in fact you know while we do have the uh, we may as well just have a little bit of music while we end out the show um don't forget uh, you can follow us on facebook twitter google plus search for larp book or just search for larp news and you'll probably find larp book uh don't forget to give us a five star review on itunes or whatever you use to actually listen to this podcast it does help us out a great deal i know we have got some fantastic five star reviews uh, up on the itunes site and we thank you very much for those guys mm-hmm. uh show notes can be found over at lapbook.com when rob gets them up there which is usually in a day or two yeah um, they'll be there yeah so uh thank you very much tom thank you rob thank you thank you you know and uh, we'll we'll pretty much end uh, on on that note i think but uh, guys so uh, have a great night yeah. everyone okay bye bye Have a great night. And, uh, you know, don't do anything silly. I love this music.